Hi Aries, welcome to the month of March and let's see what's going to happen and what's going to come your way for this month. So this is for your general reading, okay? Singles, I'll be reading for you in the same uh, video. Alright. Hmm. Aries, you need to be a little bit more stronger for a betrayal that you're going to be finding out soon. Alright. Let's take a look at your career forecast. I'll be pulling out more clarification cards later on, okay? And if this doesn't resonate you, uh, go and check out your Moon Rising readings, okay? Ooh. More strength. Mm. Oof. Okay, now that it actually pays off. Well, it seems like your love... Uh, sorry, your... Um, your work will be very good and you'll be shining through this month. I just feel like you're really going to be going through something when it comes to your love life. Alright. Well, you know that this has been going on. It seems like person that you're with is kind of, you know, I feel, I feel like this is already happening right within your premise. And let's take a look more. Uh, yeah, go. You're gonna go in through depression this month. And by the way, retrograde will also be starting this March until April fifteenth. March 7th, I think. Uh, but you know how it is when there is actually a retrograde. Oops. Okay, let's see. take a look at this first. Messenger of thought and night of emotion. Let's just lay this down. And do the last shuffle. of action. Alright, let me fix the camera first. Alright, now let's pull out more clarification cards in this. Where is this betrayal coming from? You already know that this is already happening, ongoing. You already have the feeling that there is something off. Okay, that's happening around you, but you're not just paying attention because you're so afraid con to confront the situation plus the truth. Now, this had already happened before, or this had already occurred in the past, and it seems like somebody around you, at least two or three people around you, knows what's been going on, but they're not really saying anything. Now, 
if you already caught your partner cheating before, then most likely that they are still cheating with the same person. And you already know that this has been going on, but you just don't want to confront it, or you just don't want to say to yourself that they are doing it again. Okay, because you don't want to feel the same pain, anguish, and anger. Okay? Uh, I feel like your partner just tried to you know string you along and make you feel or think that they're never gonna do it again but they just you know they just waited for like a few months and they strike again so what are you gonna do now you know even if you separate the two of you will still get back together Okay, because you love this person, you you will always forgive this person, and especially if you're with a water sign. Okay, water sign with an earth element or earth element with a strong water sign in their chart. Now, you need to be careful and you need to proceed with caution because this is slowly becoming a pattern. That the person that you're with is not really sorry at all, but it seems like they feel so proud that, oh, okay, yeah, even if I do it over and over again, she's still going to forgive me. So, you're the one who's actually creating a um, your own heartbreak. Even though no matter how much you love this person, it's time to put your foot down and it's time to step up. Okay, put your foot forward. And whether this person cannot live without you or they can live with you, sorry, they can, whether they can live without you or not, um try to give them a discipline try to make them realize that your patience and your forgiveness is not unlimited okay because you're going to go through a lot of strife it will be affecting major parts of your life your your health most especially because here depression it will trigger your depression your frustrations you will be losing weight and it's going to occur most of your time that you're supposed to be spending for your job, for your work, for your profession, or some other things that you need to do aside from your love life. All right? Even though there are some advices that you don't want to follow, you don't want to listen, and you're too stubborn to at least apply it to yourself, I feel like this is the right time for you to reflect in your own action. Where is this relationship going to go? If this is still worth it, or if this is still worthy of your time, energy, investment, and everything else, ask yourself. Only you can answer your question. Because there are a lot of people who's already been advising you what to do, what needs to be done, but you're not listening. Because you're afraid to lose, you're so afraid to be defeated, and you're so afraid to live alone at this point. Okay? You feel like this person is the only one that gives you life's meaning or happiness or something like that but I don't really feel like that's the case it's time for you to walk away because this person is also planning to escape anyway and but even if they will escape or even if they will run away they are still gonna come back to you because you've already give them that comfort or you've already give them the privilege that whatever they do and no you know it's like even if they lie, betray you, or do something behind you, just one sorrow or apology, and you're just going to accept them. So it's time to cut this thing off, and it's time to think for yourself, love yourself, and respect yourself. Now, when it comes to your work, this actually pays off for whatever that's been going on in your personal life. There is an old offer, or there is like a... Um, Let's say, for example, that you tried to aim for a, um, a vacant position last year, and that position is vacant again, but when you applied before, you got rejected. So at this point, it will be recommended directly to you, or it will be um, given to you. More likely a promotion, obviously, you know, and you're going to get it. Plus, there is a travel, which is good for you. Okay, to divert your attention away from your personal life because one thing you need to segregate your personal life from your work life okay whatever your problems inside your domestic house or your domestic place leave it there and whatever professional problem that you have leave it in the office okay now you will be learning a lot you will be going through some trainings conferences or seminars and this is actually good to divert your attention 
okay you don't have to get into another relationship or you don't have to call somebody just to keep you company because you will be so busy this month when it comes to your work all of your hard works hard labors your performances and everything that you have planted before it will be paying off starting this month for you and I'm also seeing a lot of money okay just don't wear that attitude Keep your feet on the ground and um, wear your heart on, sleeve, on your sleeve, okay? And stop thinking about whatever happened in the past. Stop thinking about, you know, your, your sentiments that you did this, you did that, and now... Because everything is already paying off now. It's time to remove all of those negativities and face the future with a smile and be thankful that finally it's here. This is the gift of life and universe for all of the things that you have done right in the past, okay? Good karma is now paying you off. <sighs> now, you know, it actually occurred to you in the past that you should also do the same thing what your partner has been doing to you. But you know what? It's not, I mean, you know your worth. You know that you are far more worthy than this insecure person around you. So why stoop below their level? You know that this has been going on for quite some time and you know, it's there's nothing wrong if you love somebody so much. But you also need to love yourself so much, okay? You know that this has been going on, you know the person, you've already known this before, you've seen this before, you've watched this before, you've forgiven, tried to move on, put it all behind you because you want to save up your relationship but now it's you know, it's happening again. Not that to mention the retrograde is coming again. So there are a lot of people that are there. Uh, there will be a lot of signs that will be affected and they're going to be delusional again. Okay, and you know what's the bottom line of this? Right after the retrograde, they're going to wake up and say that, Oh, I didn't know that I did that. You know, I was weak. And that's not an excuse. Being weak is not an excuse. Okay? So... Even if you will try to stay in this relationship and you will try to make your mind numb or insensitive, you could still feel the pain. Okay? So don't be so martyr or don't try to settle for something that, you know, that it's not gonna have a, a good ending as well. Okay? Uh, love is supposed to be like a. There should be some balanced equation and there should be some equality in a relationship. Uh, but in this relationship, it's like a three-way highway. Okay? It's time for you to put your foot down and make a stop to this. Because this is not going to stop not until you put your foot down and not until that you will love yourself. Depression, drinking, binging, staying late at night. Which is, if this is your way of expressing your hurt, your pain, your anguish, and your bitterness in life, you can do so, but learn how to control it. Because whatever that's too much, obviously it's not good, it's not nice, okay? You also need to sleep more, or you will find yourself sleeping more this month because of your depression. But I feel like you're going to pull through at the fourth week because your job will be balancing your heartbreaks and will be balancing your ruse. And this is what's going to be more likely your reward for being, you know, for being a good person and you've done all the right things as much as you could. It's just that there are some people that is not really right for us or that is not that doesn't really deserve us. Okay, that's a better way of putting it and accepting things so that you can move on. Now, stay optimistic about your love life. Give your relationship a chance for giving and learning. This is what exactly you're going to do. You will still try to look at the brighter side of the situation. That, oh, that this person can change. That, the you know, this, this situation could progress. And maybe, you know, my partner could actually realize that I've been so good, uh, in you know, to him or her. And maybe they could still change. So, it's time for you to let go of what might have been and what could have been. 
because if someone really wants to change they're gonna change on their own and you don't have to sacrifice your own self-esteem self-worth and integrity and wait for them till they're you know till they wake up now as for your article cards messenger messenger of thought a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you there's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward new information may require changes to your plans review all documents carefully you will you know will meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge this person is brilliant truthful but also blunt and not very diplomatic nine of emotion this is a magical time in your life and wishes are granted and dreams come true it may seem that good luck is following you but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun see i told you this month all of the good things good deeds and you know all of those hard works that you have done in the past it will you know good karma will pay off this month starting this month Ten of action, you're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance with your between your career and personal life. Be willing to ask help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. This training to make others happy can be harmful to your health. Now let's take a look at the forecast for singles. before I read your final oracle cards for your careers and finances. So this is for Airy Singles, okay? single somebody from the past coming back into your life but you need to proceed with caution one is water one is air okay if you're expecting that this person have already changed or at least become a better person you're wrong they're only faking it they will be approaching you with much uh, what do you call this like a fake facade and they're gonna be so apologetic and everything but you know what they're just playing tricks on you to see if they're you're still the same old person that they could play along with and string along with and this person will be lying to you about a lot of things and their real status in life whether it's financially or uh, emotionally and right after getting what they want after eight months or eight weeks this person will be running away and will be leaving you behind already just be careful not to get pregnant while this whole charade thing is charade sorry this whole charade thing is going or ongoing and most likely this person will just run away and leave you all behind and I feel like they're also going to ask you for some financial assistance to travel be careful with that okay this is somebody that you treat or that you think is your or you assume is your soulmate but this is more likely your karmic soulmate when will you be finding the right one oh in the month of november in the form of heartbreak in the form of let's say someone being nasty and someone not being true to you so it will start as a joke or it will start as a non-serious thing and all of a sudden this person will, will develop towards you and it will turn out to be a great relationship okay let's take a look at your past life or your soulmate you'll be meeting your the person that is meant to be with you or the right person for you around the month of November and they are Sagittarius you're both fire
the person that you're going to be meeting sooner, the right person for you, you've, ha you've spent two past lives together. The first life was either you were his mother or his or her mother or a parent, okay? And there were some legal troubles as well and you died drowning in a ship. The second life was the two of you were... The two of you were married, but you lived in a lot of fears, okay? And I feel like you died in the war. So there's like an unfinished business here. And you will somehow know that even though this person is going to be so nasty and will play around with your feelings at first, which it will turn out to be something great, okay? And uh, you will actually know to yourself that why is it that it's so hard for me to cut off my feelings from this person? Why is it that this person, even though they're so nasty and they're so unethical, I can't really cut off myself from them? And they keep on coming back into my life. You know, it is because that you do have a past life connection together. All right, let's take a look at your final oracle cards and it's for everyone, okay? So at least finally, Aries. Single Aries. Okay, let's take a look at your life path and career oracle cards. And please check out Destiny Psychics. I recommend Crystal Fairy and uh, Eagle Star. They're also bilingual, they speak Spanish. And. Uh, they're both into musics. And if you're also a feline lover, uh, check out Rebel 72 or 74, I think. She's also quick to pick and um, she reads fast. And she's very accurate as well. After months of hard labor and uh, research. Oh, and there's also a chat room and forum feature in the at the uh, in the website. Okay. Now, okay. Mother Mary helping children in recognition. The Blessed Mary is helping you with your divine life purpose. Helping children. Part of your life purpose involves teaching, guiding, and helping young people. Recognition. You and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honors. Now, one thing. There, you know, the reasons actually, sorry, things happen for a reason. Okay? And I feel like the way I see it here is the reason why there are some things that happen and it comes in through in the form of pain it is because that you need to reach your full potential sometimes we ended up with someone who's very insecure and instead of them supporting us to go up they tend to be the blockage okay or they tend to hold us back pull us down or you know um delay us into reaching our goals so life knows what is better for you and life knows what is good for you so when there are some painful things that happen in your life, always look at the brighter side, okay? Because there is always a balance. Now, helping children, you will have a flourishing year, okay? You will have a lot of blessings that will happen. Of course, not all months will be good, but most of the months this year for you will be very beneficial and will be good. So share your blessings to everyone in order for you to return your good karma, okay? Recognition, as I've said, that all of your hard works and your past performances, especially for the past year, it will be recognized and you will be getting the job or the position that you've been aiming for, for how many months already? Now, sensitivity, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. Nutrition, you're, well, you're a good cook. Okay, everyone loves the way you cook and the way you, you know, the way you mix your food and when you invent food and anything that you can see in the fridge, you can just make a dish out of it. That's how talented you are. But you can also share some of the nutrients, some of the diets that you know to other people so that they can benefit from it. Now, Oracle cards, you do take advices and you do see, um, or you do take 
it's like you're getting more insight from from card readers and this has become more of your guide to enlighten you and help you uplift your um, hard situations and uh, during the times that you're actually struggling so you're on the right path all right so anyway that's it for you for this month Aries and if you want to have your own personal readings go and visit me at my website it's vangel.net and if ever that I'm not available please go and check out destiny psychics there are a lot of good and accurate readers available for you all right blessings to you have a great month of march